In this video, we are going to see the importance of spoken English. As we are the students, we know the importance of communication. But even though it is my duty to tell you how much English communication is important for a student to develop their own career. To develop the English language, we have four basic skills that we call it as LSRW. L stands for listening. Yes stands for speaking, R stands for reading and W stands for writing. So develop a language, first of all we have to listen. Then what we listen, we have to try to speak it out. Then the we should improvise the reading practice. When once yell, that is listening skill, speaking skill and reading skill is developed, automatically what it happens, the writing skill also will be developed. These four skills will really enhance a person to improvise their language, either it is going to be in the speaking, writing or reading. Everyone will have a doubt that why we need to develop this English language. Yes, even when I was trying to develop my language, I had the same question. But here are some 10 points that will really make you to understand why English is very, very important. The first and the foremost point is that learning makes, learning of English makes one very smarter. One of the most significant learning of new language, that is especially English, will help your brain to work better. It is not only about learning English language, it is about learning any language will help the brain to work in better way. And there is a research confirmed that a learning a new language will change the brain structure. And that will help the memory of the brain to work more on that particular language and when we are learning in English it will help us to understand all the vocabularies or all the phrases that we undergo the next point is that English is a language of internet yes we all have to agree that now after the pandemic situation that happened in our society, we all are directly or indirectly dependent on the mobile phones or gadgets or uh, internet. So here, uh, there is a survey that more than 1 billion users are using internet and then which language more in the mode of English and the whole world is responsible for one common language and that language is English. The third point is that English is a flexible language. Yes, English is a very flexible language because the person who is not native English speakers, that is, they don't have English as their mother tongue, they are extremely comfortable in putting any type of vocabulary and make that language comfortable for them. So, this English language is very, very flexible. The next three points are the international affairs. See, English language, why it is called as English affairs? You all may have some doubts. See, here I have some ex explanation for that. Foreign policies are the focus of attention of all the countries of the world. And any global market, they need the attention, attention of the whole country. Here, every country wanted to be very friendly with each other and explain their own view to the others when it is needed. This cannot be done with each country's native language. So they need a medium of a language and that medium of language is considered as English. So English provides us with such a medium and in this is the language which holds the status of international language. The fifth point is that importance of English in internal matters. See, for this, I have an example of our own country, India, where the people live with different parts of their own native languages. English plays an important role in this. See, each regional languages are considerably different from one another. Is that no? Yes. Every few kilometers in India changes the language drastically. 
uh, see the leaders and administrators of a country cannot remain in constant with all the regional languages so they need a common language and for that reason english is helping them a lot the sixth point is that english makes your life entertaining so this point we all have to agree yes it is helping us to entertain it helps us to read number of books need more option for movie times learning english will open a whole new world of entertainment for oneself see you don't believe that in the world of translation it is creating a drastic changes and making all kind of works to be translated in english and which help all the people to read out of that as we have discussed one of the previous point that us the internet is in the english mode see what all things we are using through the internet so it is not only that we are searching for the books we search for our entertainment also visual treat also so english is really making your life entertaining the seventh point is the expression of academic see we all are learning everything in which language it's not we are learning it in english so english is also necessary for the professional of education this we all should agree see english is helping in your higher studies for proper mental development and we must study the best literature of tofet the literature of other countries and different languages can easily be obtained in english in your native languages modern and up to date literature may not be available but in english it is not so so this language is playing a very very vital role in the medium of higher studies see the next important point regarding the academics is english as a medium of teaching see english is a means of education and is an increasingly popular standard language in many of the educational institutions may prefer to use english language to teach at any given subjects sometimes because it is a commonly spoken in the geographical regions it can also be that the institution seek to attract the population of the students who believe that conducting the studies in english make them more employable in the world the next point regarding english is academic is english test can get you into any institutions see this is a very very real factor if you learn english will help you to pass in colleges or school entrance examination you can study in english language university across the world this is an excellent opportunity if you want to move to an english speaking region or if you want to work over there a successful english entrance examination will show the college and and the university that are ready and you are fit to so it is our hand that english to be developed by all this points we can understand we have another three more points to prove that english is really a necessary factor and it is our duty to develop it the eighth point we are going to see is that it helps you saying things in different ways Yes it is true english is the best assisted is its flexibility you may find many different ways to explain the same things which will happen only in this particular languages this is because of its wide range of vocabulary which we are going to continue seeing in this video it is said to have over 1 millions of words and is adding new words every year so this english language helps us in saying things in different ways the ninth point is that importance of english for getting a job see english language is really essential and it's a super knowledge area for getting a job yeah it is true if you have started learning english then you probably doing it because you want to help you yes we need to help ourselves learning english is only the first step language barriers can also be 
hindrance for your career yes it is of course so if you really want to get ahead you need to be able to speak effective english the last and the final point that what we are going to see is that learning english to travel see many of us love to travel then you may have noticed a big difference knowing the specific language can make to the experiences you have traveling is an excellent way to develop your language and coaching experiences so english is a most efficiently spoken language in the world the change of meeting some people who has a stable commented on spoken english in any country you visit is comparatively higher than most other languages learning english can help you native through most countries where english is not a primary language so the advantage of your ability to speak english is superb so by this all this 10 points i think you will really understand why english is very very important and why we have to develop if you have understood then the next step of learning we are going to move so far we have seen the importance of english language why english language is important now we are going to see the importance of communication how can one develop the communication so that is what why we are going to see as i have stated some 10 important points for the importance of english here for the communication also i have certain points the first and the foremost point is that be an attentive listener as we discussed in the beginning of this video that l s r w that l stands for what l stands for listening so please understand that this point is being repeated over here that you should be an attentive what attentive listener listening is a one of the essential element for what for an effective communication see guys everyone should listen to me see because why listening is an a basic effective element for what for communication see here i would like to state some of the examples of the people uh, what they do usually in an a workplace they may not listen to what the others are telling they may ignore it or do not listen with full attention all this causes what information is misplaced and reduces the essence that you need for the effective communication and here i'm going to tell you how you can be an attentive listener also make proper icon eye contact with the speaker and focus on his or her expressions of the words in case if there is any confusions you can ask again questions or numerous number of questions but make sure to do this after the conversation is over ask inter interrupting your benefits is not recommended moreover be attentive and have a proper body posture for practice active listening the second point for the effective communication is that you should be concrete and clear with all your points this is considered to be another very very important skill for effective communication if you are a person that tells the whole background of a story without any proof or explain your things then you are not a effective communicator just listen when you are guiding a message to your audience you should be very very concrete with the message also providing a detail about the information you are delivering to that particular person even if it is including the facts and figures see that is not alone in, in, enough but what you all have to be very very clear with all your messages as well you want your message to be well defined and clear so others can understand you better in short time
the clarity in a message is vital as it ensure that every member of the work of the team can understand you without any inconveniences to be clear in your speech use simple vocabularies use active voice and be clear about your objects see this last point what i said is very very important to be clear your in your speech use simple vocabulary very very simple vocabulary you have to use use active voice and be very clear about your objectives the next point is that non verbal communication is a key yes non verbal communication is a key your body language plays a very very vital role for you to be an effective what effective communicator words are important but what is more important that is your tone your eye contact your facial expression and hand gesture see i repeat this point again words are important but than that we have some more importance you should give for your tone eye contact facial expressions and hand gestures hand gestures while communicating represents that hand gesture while communicating represent that you are confident and courageous hence it is allows you the person to speak with the pay attention to you and actually listen to what you are saying using see here i should say the importance of using non verbal communication also see using this non verbal communication while speaking help building a strong relationship with others and deliver your message more conventionally and effectively to improve your non verbal communication learn about different hand gestures tones also make sure to pay attention to other people body language also the next important point that we are going to see is to be relaxed see stress and anxiety can make your communication to be ineffective yes it is true fact see i'll tell you the reason why it is going to be an ineffective communication to communicate effectively you should be relaxed and be stress free okay stress causes you to choose the wrong set of words it makes it harder for your audience to understand yeah that is very very true also remaining calm and stress free during the conversation help you understand the nature of the conversation in better way plus it helps you choosing between very good terms of vocabularies also so while communicating you should be how you should be should be very very relaxed while communicating the next important point is that information or inform okay we call it as so while communicating the effective communicator should inform your audience about what your conversation would be about it would help your audience to have a general idea about the conversation and more than that it will also allow them to grasp the knowledge easily other than that you should also inform your audience audience about the key features or the points that they should listen to and keep in your mind during the conversation see informing others about what your conversation is about prepare your audience and help them take the necessary action needed for it and you should also explain your points in detail to your audience as not all your audience might have the same information background as you explain your ideas and thoughts in detail that may help them numerous group of audience which allow them to be an effective communicator so far we have seen basic five steps for the effective communication and the next step or the next point that what we are going to see is that be visual see representing the information that you want in front of the audience 
you should give them visual form that may help the audience to remember it for longer time it is there in the human psychology that the information that we process information a lot faster in even in the communication method but even though we should give them in the form of pictures also according to a study human have an enhanced ability to interpret and remember the pictures for an extended period okay so we the humans can remember in the form of visualization if it is going to be there it can be prolonged for longer period according to the same study it was concluded that we do not remember the words for longer time time as compared to pictures see this is a human psychology it has been proved hence being an effective communicator what you should do you must be able to make your points understand for your audience that is very very important and to do this it is advised to choose the right inform delivering strategy like visual communication see visual communication means representing the information through charts maps images and graphs and what the teachers do do their what they do they do it in their writing in the blackboards see next point is that for a effective communication is that show empathy show empathy means showing understanding as being a very good effective communicator you should try to understand others there are times when you are stated opinion that members of many teams that you are sometimes you may be frustrated sometimes you might be angry but even though you should think it is a, what no you should uh, make others to understand why you are in that state the next important point is completeness completeness means completing your sentence while communicating see being a communicator this is very very important point sometimes you may notice that people start a sentence but after short while they get confused they start explaining the point or they may leave the point at first one itself hence all this communication create confusion for the effective communication to communicate effectively you must complete and explain the first point in detail only then you have to move to the next one also make sure that you move in the sequence while explaining your points and there must be a connection and logical deduction with the sentences furthermore it is also crucial if you are replying to someone as a completeness and that may make numerous uh, ineffective communication the next point is that give and receive feedbacks see feedbacks can make drastic changes in the every work whatever you do giving and receiving effect feedback is essential giving and receiving feedback is as a essential core uh, skill for effective communication so giving feedback encourages a person and similarly receiving a couple of help you to view the improve your weakness of the point during the communication the last point is that the utilize your time in sensible manner to effectively communicate in your workplace or your profession or when you are a student or when you are in a team member what you have to do you should not waste the previous time that you get during even the lunch break even being with your friends even going in the buses that all the times you should utilize it and you should make sure that you enhance your communication by all the 10 steps if you are going to really follow it regularly what it happens you will really have a effective communication so far in the video we have seen about what is the importance of communication and what are the importance of english language and why we need to develop our communication skills see there is another basic steps to improvise your uh, english is by only by your vocabulary the development of vocabulary see in day to day life we are coming across many vocabulary word regularly 
for example when you say good morning you are learning two words good good and morning that are the two vocabularies of that word when you are telling your friend happy birthday you are learning two word two two new new words happy birthday to you it is a vocabulary it is a combination of vocabulary gives a sentence am i right so here i'm going to give you a clear idea regarding what is called vocabulary is a set of familiar words within a person's language see it can be a familiar words within a person of any language it's not particular we are telling about english language it can be about any language see okay a vocabulary usually developed with ages serves as uses for the fundamental tool for communication for what purpose the vocabulary is actually been used the vocabulary is been actually used for the purpose of communication and for acquiring knowledge so vocabulary is a very very basic step for the development of any language see guys we are going to learn alphabetical vocabularies very few vocabularies that i'm going to teach you and you guys are going to repeatedly along with me see when i say a particular word you should repeat along with me i'll give you few seconds of time see here i have a set of uh, words that starts with a another apparent a play author apartment although always yeah everyone repeat along with me another apparent appeal author apartment although always very good guys you are doing great job shall we go with the vocabulary starting with b yeah fine come on baby bye b u y by but business building build very good you all are doing great job come on follow along with me we will start the vocabulary word again with b baby by b u y by but business building build now we shall move on to the vocabulary words that starts with the letter c cut customer current cup culture cultural crime create cover caught course you all are doing really a great job come on follow me again we'll follow the word that starts with the vocabulary sound c cut customer current cup culture cultural crime create cover caught and cause see these are the very limited words that starts with the letter a b c yeah now we are moving on to the vocabulary it starts with the letter d e and f come on let's shall we go d e and f yeah here are some words that starts with the letter d during the same thing you have to follow repeat along with me during drug drop dry dream draw down repeat along with me during drag draw dry dream draw down now we are moving on to the letter e you guys are really great and awesome follow me i explain expert experience keep on practicing along with me except exit execute i'm repeat the word that starts with the letter e i explain expert except exit execute shall we move on to the letter f yeah come on everybody follow me future 
फंड फुल फ्रेंड फ्रम फ्रेंड फ्री फ्लार फॉरवर्ड फॉर्मर कम ऑन गाइस रिपीट अलॉन्ग विथ मी फर्दर फंड फुल फ्रेंड फ्रम फ्रेंड फ्री फॉर फॉरवर्ड फॉर्मर वेरी गुड see once you repeat learning all these words these are very limited words guys you know more than this see i'm just giving you a practice with a very limited number of words and keep on practicing along with me and we will move on to the next slide that starts with the other few letters uh, the vocabularies now we are going to see the vocabulary starts with letter g h and i see follow me the letter starts with the g guy gun guess grow growth group ground repeat along with me guy gun guess growth grow group ground now we are moving on to that hatch uh, 100 hundred, hundred. human huge however how house how repeat along with me 100 human huge however how house how very good very good this is the very basic step the how you can improvise your language now we are moving on to the letter that starts with i itself repeat along with me itself its item it issue involve investment introduction introduce into i repeat again the vocabulary sounds that starts with the letter i itself its item it issue involve investment introduction introduce into so these are the vocabulary sounds that starts with the letter g h and i for you are doing great job girls and you are following me superb and uh, when we come across this vocabularies you guys also might be very clear that ma'am i really know this vocabulary i know this word i know this word yeah that is what is right you know plenty of vocabularies that is there within you but we are not using it in the proper time so come on we are moving on to the next set of vocabulary that starts with the letter j k and l yeah so follow me how you usually follow me right the letters that starts with the letter j jump judge jack just join job repeat again judge jump jack just join job girls when i'm giving all these words no keep remembering all these words after the end of this class we will be having activity based on the vocabularies that i taught you okay now we are moving on to the next set of vocabulary that starts with the letter k knowledge no kitchen kind kill kid knowledge no kitchen kind kill kid very good superb job now we are moving on to the letter that starts with the vocabulary that starts with the letter l lay layer law laugh later late last very good come on lay layer law laugh later late last very good guys 
Now we are moving on to the vocabulary sound that starts with the letter M, N and O. Yeah, follow me along with me. M, myself, my, must, music, much, Mrs, Mr, movie, movement, move. Repeat along with me. Myself, my, must, music, Mrs, Mr, movie, movement, move. Very good. Now we are moving on to the letter N. Number, now, notice, nothing, note, not, north, nor, none, no, night, nice. Repeat along with me. Number, now, notice, nothing, not, 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 north, nor, none, no, night, nice. Repeat along with me the vocabulary that starts with the letter sound O. Honor, own, over, outside, out, our, others, other, organization. Repeat along with me. Owner, own, verse, outside, out, our, others, other, organization. Good jobs. We'll keep on learning vocabulary sounds with all the alphabetical letters. Now, we are going to see the vocabulary that starts with the letter sound P, Q and R. P. Guys, repeat along with me. P stands for put, push, purpose, pull, public, prawn. Put, push, purpose, pull, public, prawn. Very good. Keep on repeating the letter sound that starts with, starts with yes, surface. Sure, support, summer, suggest, suffer, suddenly. Repeat along with me. Surface, sure, support, summer, suggest, suffer, suddenly. Very good. Keep on repeating. We have the letters or the vocabulary that starts with the letter R. Run, rule. Room, roll, rock, road, risk. Come again with me. Run, rule, room, roll, rock, road, risk. Yeah, superb guys. Now yeah, come on. We have the vocabulary sound that starts with the letter T, U and V. Follow me. You all are doing great job. T. Typical. Tie. Two. Twin. Twice. Twenty. Repeat along with me. Typical. Tie. Two. Twin. Twice. Twenty. And follow along with me. We are going to go with the letter U. Ugly. Umbrella. Um, impair, unable, uncle, under, undergo. Repeat along with me. Ugly, umbrella, impair, unable, uncle, under, undergo. Very good. Now we are moving on to the vocabulary sound that starts with the letter V. Very. Repeat along with me. Very. Valuable. Vivid. Valuable. Vital. Vast. Super. Repeat along with me. Very. Valuable. Vivid. Vital. Vast. 
Super guys. In this particular slide, we are going to see the vocabulary sounds that starts with the letter W, X, Y, and Z. Yeah, as you have done, followed me so far, follow me again. W, vocabulary that starts with W, Y, with, why, whose, whom, whole, who. Repeat again along with me. Why, why, why. Who's, whom, whole, who. Very good. Now we are moving on to the vocabulary sounds that starts with the letter Y. You were. Follow me, guys. You were. Yen, yen. You, yet. Yes, year, yen. Very nice. Come on, repeat along with me. You were. Yen. You, yet, yes, year, yay. Very nice. The last set of vocabulary that we are going to see that starts with the letter Z. Zinc, zero. Repeat, guys. Zinc, zero. Zoom, zone, zeal. Repeat along with me. Zinc, zero. Zoom, zone. Zil. Guys, you all did an awesome job. And by knowing all these vocabulary sounds, it really helps you to develop your language. Listen guys, which is very important for a spoken English or to develop your communication, the very basic step is to develop your vocabulary. And we are in the right path. And if you guys follow this all the steps, I am sure that you can develop your vocabulary is the first basic step to learn your effective communication. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.